So I've always wanted to try out one of these continuous glucose monitors and decided to give it a go in 2023. I've been a pretty strict carnivore diet eater since 2019 and wanted to gather some data on how my normal meals affect my blood glucose and how an off diet meal would be handled by my system. Now this isn't going to be an in-depth review of the very CGM since there are other channels that do a much better job at that, but I can say that overall the very sensor was pretty darn easy to use. There's a bit of a mental hurdle to get over with the application needle since it does look fairly large, however I did not feel any pain when applying this device into my tricep. All that is left behind in your arm is a filament that measures around 8 to 9 thousandths of an inch thick and is 232 thousandths long. You get two sensors in the pack and each lasts for about 14 days. Over the course of two weeks, I was able to continue my normal active lifestyle, which includes weightlifting, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and making epic custom knives in my shop. I did start feeling a slight tinge in the insertion location over the last two or so days when moving my arm in certain ways, but it was not unbearable. I was able to pull the data off the very app so that I can make these charts in Excel. The first graph shows my normal meals, which generally consist of one to one and a half pounds of beef with some eggs. The vertical Y axis is the glucose reading from the meter, and the horizontal X axis is the hour since the start of the meal. These uniform results are what I would expect, and they provide a good baseline for the rest of the charts I'll be showing. One big test I did was going off plan and eating some sushi. I probably do this around one to three times a year, so I was curious to see the effects. I've always been able to eat a large amount of food, so this sushi line you're seeing here is about three and a half to four rolls. One thing that stood out to me was the multiple humps on the curve, which from what I understand is a biphasic glucose response. Apparently a biphasic curve response is associated with better health outcomes and better metabolic health in comparison to a monophasic response. If anyone out there has a bunch of experience with glucose data, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on my body's handling of these meals. Another way to visualize the sushi meals with cumulative distributions, but honestly, we won't spend much time here since the story is the same. This next graph has two additional tests that I ran, which is one tablespoon of raw honey and going out to a barbecue joint that has a dry rub on their meat. Note with this barbecue, I did not consume any of the sides as per my normal arrangement. With just the raw glucose values on the y-axis, these curves are, in my opinion, potentially misleading since they all start at varying locations. To tease this out of the data, I calculated a percent change from the start of the meal. After doing this, you can see that the raw honey did spike up the glucose around 20%, but that it also triggered a response which drove my blood glucose down below the starting point in 1 hour and 45 minutes. I'm not sure what conclusions I can take from this, but it makes me think that honey could potentially be used post weightlifting without much negative ramifications. I'm not sure about that, but that's just me thinking out loud. The barbecue with a dry rub did show an elevated response versus my average carnivore meal, but honestly it was not as bad as I thought it would be. I'll continue to occasionally go out to eat barbecue with my coworkers in the future. Lastly, as a side note, I do drink a Jocko Go caffeinated drink on the regular and did not see any response worth showing from the monk fruit they sweeten it with. With all that, I hope you all thought this was interesting, and if you're thinking of getting a CGM, hopefully this video gave you some solid examples of the data you'll be able to gather. Until next time, this is Redbeard Engineered, signing off.